What's going on guys? Gios Nora here. So in today's video I have some great news for 32-bit device owners who also have the uh, blobs saved for iOS 9 because Timstar has pushed another update for the Future Restore tool which for those of you who do not know, Future Restore is a tool for downgrades on iOS. And um, I'm going to quote, uh, it was published today, it says in here, Future Restore version 146 now supports the re-restoring 32-bit to iOS 9 with the no nonce bug right from DFU mode. And he also specifies the fact that SHSH blobs without nonce are required. But what are these uh, these blobs in here? Because I've been getting a lot of questions about them, whether they are required, how you can use them, um, who has them, and uh, whether you can use a blob from another device or from a friend and so on. No, these blobs are actually some small files. I'm going to show you one in here in my uh, iOS downgrades folder. I have a couple of them. And for example, this one in here is a blob for the iPod Touch, um, sixth generation. This is uh, the one I have in, uh, in hand in here. And I'm going to open it in terminal in order to show you how it looks like. So I'm going to cat into it uh, and see uh, its content just for um, for the sake of you know showing you how it looks like. So this is the content of a blob, an SHSH blob, that is required unfortunately for the downgrades. Currently, there is no way you can downgrade a 32-bit device or a 64-bit device without having these uh, blobs. Uh, saved somewhere and in order to save them you need to be um, to be on a version that is currently signed for example um, you don't you don't have to be on that version on the device but the version has to be signed for example if you want to save the iOS 9 blobs right now it's not possible because the iOS 9 is no longer signed by Apple um, you can you can save them for iOS 10.3.2 for example which is signed by Apple for the moment but once iOS 10.3.2 will no longer be signed you will no longer be able to save this file in here you can see the structure of the file is somehow complicated is a plist file or a property list file which contains a couple keys for example the server version which is the um, 2.1.0 the app emg4 ticket which is an important part in here you can see this one in here which is in base 64 then you have the generator which is this one in here used by future restore and this is a blob the actual blob for 64 bit uh, i don't have one for 32 bit to show you but this one is for 64 bit that is saved currently with tim starts tool uh, the 32 bit blobs might look a little bit different due to the uh, structure and so on but this is pretty much the con content of it, it's SHSH and um, without this blob in here you cannot perform a restore uh, to that specific version. For, for example, you can see that this one is for iOS 10.2. If Future Restore worked with, uh, with the iPod Touch, I would be able to go back to iOS 10.2, but unfortunately I'm not able to do so for the moment because um, my device isn't um, generating the collisions and the collisions are no longer working on the uh, on this. So you need to somehow set the nonce. Anyways, we're going in details in here, but anyways, this kind of files are required in order to use this um, this bug in here and this future restore build in order to go to iOS 9 on a 32 bit. So re-restoring to iOS 9, which is no longer signed. Anyways, I have uh, downloaded the, the compiled binary and I can tell you that the pre-compiled binary in here, it's still an older version. So I'm going to show you these. Um, going ahead in here, taking the uh, future restore. You can see it returns version 144 and uh, the version by Teamstar in here is 146. So you have to compile it yourself for the moment until Teamstar will update the link in here. Uh, but he just uh, published it on the future restore in here. You can see just now it says in here on the project. So you can download the project and compile it yourself and probably get the latest version. Or of course wait for Teamstar, which is safer. Uh, wait for Teamstar to publish the uh, future restore latest.zip here on the page and um, you will be good to go back in there. So this is pretty much it. I just wanted to let you know about this. If you have the blobs for iOS 9 on 32 bit, you will be able to use this bug. Apparently uh, the bug has been um, discovered by Alitech. Uh, one two three which is um yeah thanks thanks for him for that for publishing it there's this guy in here and uh props to him for for his discovery anyways this is actually it till the next time if you want to stay updated do not forget to subscribe i'm geo snow hit the like button and peace out